yes oh uh, thank you so much for those ones who have been watching like the previous video that i did about this uh, short piece yes and now i had some comments and i had to come back to teach even teach you how to do this and please if you enjoyed the other one come and we enjoy this because now it is a bit different um that's how we always do here to make a change so this is it Morris, the crochet master. All right. Oh uh, yes. Uh, welcome, welcome, everyone who is watching, wherever you are. Yes, my name is Maurice the Crochet Master, and I would like to welcome everyone who is watching me. Yes, if you are a return subscriber, please um, just know that you're welcome. So uh, we are going to look at uh, doing on this short piece, and um, uh, recently I've just uploaded a few days um, uh, these uh, how to do this short piece, and most of you know how we uh, what I explained. So as I'm trying to, uh, uh, to repeat from the new ones, uh, we said like most of the times when we are doing the short piece, we uh, we always have to do the round puff, and yes. Um, if it's the wrong path the only thing that we can focus on we don't need to make the corners very big yes we don't need to make the corners very big not even very big like uh, we don't need to space them like over spacing we don't need to over space them because when we do over space this weave when you do that when uh, as you're uh, trying to sew the weave more like when you're done it 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 gets uh, those humps like mostly it gets the humps when someone is trying to come so uh, i always advise uh, most of my uh students like uh, whenever you if you want to have this should be and very very nice and okay like very neat the only thing you can do is don't over space the corners so uh when we uh when we do that uh, that's how that's how we're going to avoid that thing of uh, people having those humps in their waves it is just because of that and even i explained that those ones always put the net uh, but now there's some people who want this weave like to last longer uh last longer than maybe like a month <laughs> so i don't know if you can always have that net yeah up to uh to, to to last it all uh, to to have that need for all that long i don't know but it's accordingly because uh, some people over sweat and um uh, others say that they that the short piece um uh, make like it brings the itching but it is uh sometimes it is um uh, it depends so how that those people who are not supposed uh, that, that those people who sweat a lot and now when they sweat a lot i think that uh, that ant each oil that you always put on the scalp first it gets done and then the, the scalp gets dry so you find like the weave it's going to start itching you so those are most of the time the the, the, the reasons why like uh those uh, short pieces eat them and even the quality and the quality also matters so now um as we're doing all this um as i explained we need to make our, our lines very very um we need to make them uh, packed so as we're going to be watching in this video
so like as usual when we're done with that we always have to apply the anti-itchy and this is mdc hair oil we always apply it uh, for to prevent the dandruff and the anti-itchy we always uh, do that then uh, after doing all that we are going to start the the sewing sewing it is just you just have to follow these lines um and uh, it's according to what you're going to do most of the times that those people like now the previous short piece it was all flat so you don't need to over uh, like to put a, a lot of layers since it is flat down remember you just have to cut all those pieces so the only thing you can do you can just um uh, pull or you, you can just sew the, 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 the layers that you that, that that are very fine if if you cannot you cannot see the the, the, the corners inside you know uh, because there are some people who put on you just because they want their weaves to 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 be enough for the head and then they try to put uh the like one layer and then you find the the, the corners are showing so <laughs> those are the things that you need to uh you need to avoid so when you do that you just have to keep on adding the layers uh, the, 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 the the weave accordingly so now today i'm going to have the like this french cut so it means i uh, if i'm having the cut it means like on top is supposed to be somehow a lot and then on the sides are going to be small so if i'm using on the on the side both sides uh, both sides so it means if i'm using like one layer but on both sides it means now on top it's going to be like two or three according to the volume that i want the my um uh, according to the volume that i want my uh, french cut to look like so uh, all that depends and still even to some people it depends so some people we have like these uh they say like celebrity or celebrities like the musicians uh, those ones they're the way you have to uh, do them and then um these these corporate people like office people they can also have these french cuts but the cutting the first like you, you just have to do it differently even the colors matter so uh, that's why i'm like yes if we are trying to do this kind of don't look at it and you feel like it's so much maybe for you cannot do it those ones who are corporate no you can still do it but the only thing change is it is the trimming yours maybe might might be like a small fringe and but for these ones for them they're fine they can do these um uh these uh, um uh, like the fringe that uh, has got the volume like me, me especially uh, on top so that's how it is Now this is the part that I want you guys to be careful whenever you're plating this short wave it is the center like most of you guys you find like after plating a client they feel that pain here in the middle place if the client starts feeling that uh, I would advise at least you unplate that center you redo it again because uh, mostly like those short pieces that don't have uh, uh, the, the, the center closures they always bring that pain but it's just according to how you, we always saw like if you over pull this thread there's the way it straightens uh, the stretches the the skin the scalp and then you find someone uh, start feeling that that pain and if you leave those clients to go with that pain trust me at the end of it all when they are plating their hair they might lose them so it is very 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 important to um uh, to make sure that the center you focus most of the uh, most like keep trying try to ask them on how they feel if it's painful please try to uh to unplate and you redo that place because it is very important so i think that was um uh 
uh, the most important that I wanted you to know that uh, uh, I didn't even talk about on the other previous video, but it's very, very important. So now let's see how it's going to be. I don't have much to say, but all I can say, guys, I love you so, so much. Big shout out to everyone watching me in the United States of America, those one in uh, um, uh, UK, uh, those ones in uh, German. Um, I have a lot of friends in Nigeria, Ghana, and uh, Nairobi, Kenya. Yes, I love you so, so much. Yes, so big up, see you. And you cannot forget those ones in South Africa, Zambia. Yes, we love you. Trinidad Tobago, much respect. Bye-bye, see you in my other next videos.